You know, it's been a while since I mentioned Law & Order. <laughs> dun, we dun, are dun, Law & Order superfans. So when we saw this, something didn't seem quite right. Take a look. Yes, this is all about law and disorder. Yes. A one-man show starring our talented guest, Ellie Castro. So, Ellie, thanks so much for coming yes. in. It's great to see you Thank again. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. So let's talk about this. It's called Law and Disorder, but yeah. it's somewhat fitting considering that you used to be uh, a lawyer. Yeah, I was a prosecutor and then a criminal defense lawyer. Yeah. So how did you make that transition? That seems like a hard turn. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly and painfully. Yeah. <laughs> it took it took a while. It took a while. But but I'm here and it's it's been worth it. Yeah. I mean, you passed the bar in, in not one but three states. Three states. So Florida, New York, and Chicago, Illinois. So anywhere where there was a large concentration of Puerto Ricans, I made sure <laughs> that I was licensed there. Well, that's right. I, yeah. I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was working for the rest of my life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But why though? Did it, had you always wanted to be a comedian? No. No. I, I never wanted to be a lawyer. Uh, it was oh. my father's idea. Oh. And, yeah. So I grew up scared of my father. Okay. So it, so it was a good idea. Yeah, it was imposed upon me. Okay. And so I had to break but away from that. that's not easy that. to do the LSATs, the, the whole... Oh, I thought you thing. said it was not easy to break away from my father. That was well, not easy well, either. Well, <laughs> well, there's that too. That was that really too. tough. But like was... somebody who... So I was somebody who was pressured to be a lawyer, and then yeah. I went into this, right? And yeah. so law school, LSATs, all that's a lot of work. Yeah, the bar exam. A lot of reading. Yeah, yeah, I never yeah. went as far as you did. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's very difficult, something I'm very proud of. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it really shaped who I am as a comedian. Okay. Right? So everything I did as a lawyer really kind of helped me because I, I take the profession of comedy very seriously. Yeah. Doing a show is like doing a trial. So I prepare uh. the same way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, except, and you, you know, except... the jury. If they laugh or not, you know. Right, right. <laughs> except if they don't laugh, I still go home. Right? Right. Nothing <laughs> happens. I cry myself to sleep, but I still go home. In a right. trial, if the jury is not amused, my client goes to prison. Yeah. So it's a different level of pressure. Yeah. Right. Well, have you always been funny? Like, did your family members, when you were growing up, say, you are one funny kid? No, no. My family, no? They, they would never encourage me like that. Like, oh, you're so funny. You should pursue that. They'd be like, right. you're so funny. Go to your room. Right. So <laughs> it, was, it was a different type of reward. You're, and read. Yeah. Um, so oh, I yeah. was never really uh, encouraged to pursue the arts. It was just something that was in me that I wanted to pursue on my own. But I needed to develop the courage to do well, that. Well, yes. Now you're, and not only do you have the courage, you're doing the one-man shows, yeah. right? So talk to us a little bit about the one-man show and where you draw the inspiration from. My family. Okay. So my Aww. life, my relationships. Everything I do on stage is to kind of tell the audience what my life is like, what my upbringing is like. And so that ho it, with the hope that they can relate to it, Right, the way I was raised, the way my mother is, the way my father is. Mm -hmm. Hi, mommy. Hi, Bobby Bendicio. Uh, <laughs> so that they could feel like they're a part of the family. I want my shows to feel like we're just sitting around the living room, yeah. just hanging out and, and connecting with each other. Okay. Yeah, one of your off-Broadway off shows, seven weeks, completely sold out. Yeah. Now, what does your family think? Yeah. Well, now they like it. You know, now they like the attention. You right. know, at first, you know, when I left the law to become a comedian, they were reluctant. You yeah. know, they they would sit in the audience, like you know, hoping it wasn't funny. You know, hope, <laughs> like my father would just be like, oh, okay, just go back to court. You know. Right. But then the more attention it got, and the more laughter and responses it got, now they embrace it. You know, now they mm. want to be in the front row. Now they that what they have one, they want to have their own meet and greet in the lobby <laughs> after the shows. You know, anybody have any questions? Just right. let me you know. You know, right. he, it's all true. <laughs> all the parts about me are true. And his father, he's just like that. He's just like that. Right, I right, love right, it. right. Yeah. So when you so the law and disorder, yeah. is it specifically about family? What are you kind of getting into there? Well, it, it's really the story about how I went from a criminal lawyer to a comedian. Okay. Right? But but truly it's a story about what it means to go after your dreams, mm. right? Because it's not always glamorous, right? It's rough. Mm. Yeah. Right? But it's worth it. It's kind of like being here this morning. Right. Right? I mean, it, I'm on TV, but waking up early is rough. Yeah. yeah. About right? It, right? But it's worth it. Yeah. Right? Because so, I'm here. Wait, talk about the transition. What, how old were you when you made the transition from lawyer to comedian? I was in my 30s. Okay. So for somebody to go through the change of career in their 30s. Rough. And then, and then not immediately hit big. No. No. Right? You're working the circuit. Uh, or yet. Right? I mean, you, it's a struggle. It's a constant struggle. So it's not, it's not about developing the courage to make the leap. It's, it's developing the courage to have what it takes to survive the leap. Mm. Because once you jump, it's not like you land and there's a parade waiting for you. Yeah. You land and there's regret, yeah. right? There's second oh. thoughts. There's what mm -hmm. did I just do, <laughs> right? There's your friends going, hey, how's it going, Ellie? 
Okay, yeah, I got to go because I got to go to work. What are you doing? Oh, you're sleeping in again. That's nice. Yeah, your parents must be really proud. Right. So there's that to, to confront and to battle every day. Yeah. So, But it's worth it because at the end of the day, it's about pursuing what makes you happy. Yeah, totally. you reached your dream. You yeah. found success. So now where can folks catch you next? Yeah. Off Broadway at the 47th again, Street Theater, the Puerto, Puerto Rican Traveling Theater. Yes, yes. for uh, information, elliecastro.com, where I'll be doing Law and Disorder okay. better than the original okay. on stage. Oh, Forget Law and Order. You got to check out Law and Disorder. And what okay. are the dates again? September 7th? September 7th through October, October 29th. 29th. Yeah. Yep. All right. Did you get the parade yet? <laughs> I hope to. You're getting yeah. that parade. All right. I hope to. Okay. Good to have you here in the studio. Likewise. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you. And we'll have the information on our website, too, pick7.com, for more details on that show.